G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I want to make a confession to you about why I got into growing our own food all those years ago, and the short answer is, it was all about the money. Let's get into it. That's better. Back in 2008, Nina and I were both in the Australian Army. Nina was a warrant officer medic running a large medical centre and I was a squadron sergeant major in charge of my unit's discipline, security, physical training and things like that. But despite our careers going well, we weren't happy, mainly because our home front was suffering due to being time poor, trying to hold two professional jobs and care for our two boys, five and two years old. This type of lifestyle might be fine for some, but for us, it was miserable. And we also wanted a more stable upbringing for our kids. So we made the radical decision to leave the military with the simple plan to settle down on a few cheap acres away from the city madness. For me to become a home dad and for Nina to be the main breadwinner. Nina could then concentrate on her career post army without having to worry about the home as much. I would look after the boys, take care of home administration, pay bills, cleaning, garden maintenance, etc. and have a nice wholesome meal on the table for when Nina got home from work. Splitting up our duties like this made a lot of sense to us. Maybe not everyone, but it did to us. And it was kind of like we offloaded instantly our duties or half of our duties onto each other. You have to have a you have to think about it a little bit. Life was instantly clearer. We had more time and things were just less complicated. However, there was one negative factor and we always knew it was going to be a challenge. And you guessed it, that was the money. Falling from a double income down to practically one wage with a mortgage and a growing family, well, finances were as tight as a fish's, well, you know what? Our plan from the beginning to save on some of the costs was for me to grow as much food as possible in our own backyard. Later, this decision would turn into a whole new career for myself as a content creator on the interwebs, a YouTuber with over a million subscribers, thanks to you. But back then, it was pure survival and saving money by growing food instead of buying it from the supermarket. And it was a big help. Because money was tight initially, I was frugal in our garden. I had plenty of time between nappy changes and I wasn't a big fan of daytime soapies. So getting out, growing in ground with just seeds and also using my own labour was pretty cost effective at the time. Even our early raised garden beds were made from cheap recycled materials to save costs. Speaking about raised beds and also crossing over into the realm of military, I found raised bed gardening a lot easier on my broken body due to several major injuries during my army days. Stand up gardening and limited bending makes weeding, digging and planting much less painful and a heck of a lot more fun. Unfortunately, my DIY raised beds deteriorated quickly, so we saved up and purchased our first birdies beds around 2009, and they are still growing strong today. By the way, as I release this video, Memorial Day in the States is just a few days away on Monday the 30th of May. A mate of mine, Kevin from Epic Gardening, you might know him, he sells these birdies raised garden beds in the USA made in Australia. And over the Memorial weekend, including Monday, he is having a huge 15% off sale on garden beds and other garden products he sells. I have an affiliate relationship with Epic Gardening, meaning that I get a small commission, it doesn't cost the buyer anything more, but I get a small commission if people use my code, which is down below, on checkout at his store. Plus using my special code gets another 5% off. So if you're thinking about getting any of these raised beds or anything else from the Epic Gardening site, that's a huge 20% savings. 
So just use my code on checkout and you'll get that discount. But don't forget, it's the Memorial Day sale and it does end on Monday night. Anyway, the other unexpected benefit that I found growing our own food was the dramatic effect it had on my PTSD. And this is one of the major reasons that started me wanting to spread the word about food gardening, not only to save money, but as a mental health therapy as well. Then you have the physical health benefits like exercise. And did you know the best source of vitamin D is sunlight? It's true, vitamin D is critical for good health. And it's good to see the sun out finally here after all of this rain for the last several months. Growing your own also allows you to produce chemical free organic food and try things you can't buy at the supermarket, plus a whole lot more. So yeah, in the beginning for me, growing a food garden and self-sufficiency was all about the money. That was the main drive. And even with a flourishing food garden from 2008 to 2016, about eight years, our finances were still borderline. We robbed Peter to pay Paul and had limited luxuries, but I have no doubt that it was our food garden, growing food at home, our self-sufficiency that pulled us through those really tough times. And with the cost of living rising alarmingly now, I can't help thinking that a food garden may well be the best way for ordinary people to make their hard earned go further and give them some buffer against tough times. I hope food shortages and out of control inflation doesn't happen like some top economists are predicting, dare I say, experts. Because I think vulnerable people and small businesses They've suffered enough, particularly over the last few years. You know what I mean? Having said that, I reckon we'll come through this as humanity always does, looking after each other, and the future will improve for those who are hardworking, tenacious, and aspirational. Crikey, I'm using my big words today, aren't I? Anyway, I guess the whole point of this video was to point out no matter why you start a food garden, whatever the motivation, even if it is to make or save money, the overall other benefits of gardening will shine through. And in the end, this will be worth more than the dollar value. Lastly, I just wanted to say from my point of view as a retired Australian soldier, Memorial Day is a time to commemorate those American servicemen and women who have fallen on duty in order to keep us safe. And now as the sun comes out, fittingly I reckon, if it wasn't for them making the ultimate sacrifice, and indeed those who have served and those who are still serving, there is no doubt the world would be a worse place to live. So thanks for your service. And thanks to you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a memorable thumbs up, share the video around and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Cheers.